Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel and welcome to your July love reading. Uh, whatever week this gets to you, we do have the new moon in Cancer coming in. This is Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, Venus progressed. And so we're going to look at the overall energy of love this week for you, uh, the universal energy. I'll take a look at you, what's going on around you, and then who's coming towards you and their feelings, and then Aries through Pisces. So like and subscribe and show me some love. All right. You've got the full energy here. Ooh, and you got the lovers underneath. So we see a fresh start with the lover, somebody you're in love with or somebody who's in love with you or a possibility you have a chance to be you know, connecting with somebody this week, but you got to take that leap of faith. This is your energy too, Uranus energy. Um, it could be an Aries, it could be a Gemini coming towards you as well too, but I see um, a fresh start this week, opportunity. So, you know, what What does this mean when I do this? This means that this is the overall energy around you and you could take advantage of, you know, there's a lot of potential for this this week. But if you're sitting home and not doing anything, well, you know, got to make it happen too. Got to bring it into reality. So let's see, let's see your energy, your energy, you, what's going on around you. you Got to take a leap of faith this week, or maybe for some of you, because if somebody's a fool for you, especially with that lover's card underneath, if someone's in love with you, you might not be seeing it. You got the five of pentacles. You're having doubts. You're like, I don't think so, Frankie. But we got the six of cups. It could be because you're focused on somebody from the past. Or you just don't believe it. You're doubting it. Maybe some of you need to make a choice. You need to move on from somebody from the past who's been making you feel like this and it's time to move forward. Take a leap of faith in somebody new. But again, some of you could just be sitting there going, nope, I'm, I'm always dealt a raw hand and I don't think that's going to happen. But there is a possibility of reconciliation there. I've got the union card. So I don't know what's going on with you with that five of pentacles, Aquarius, but there's a soulmate energy around you and you've got a strong energy. You walk out that door, there's a possibility of meeting somebody or connecting with somebody or having a fresh start. It could be about you changing your perspective because it looks like you're being grumpy. And we got the seven of wands, right? Maybe you got your guards up a little defensive. It looks like you get a fiery energy determined to come towards you. That Scorpio energy. A rebirth. A lot of transformation happened in here. Change. Or something needs to change. Maybe, maybe this attitude of, I doubt it. Or, I don't think so. Nothing ever works out for me. I got the Nine of Swords. You've got a lot of anxiety over relationships. We have a lot of trust issues over relationships. But you've got a queen of air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. There could be somebody around you that is in love with you. It's up to you to make this, uh, take this leap of faith. Maybe standing in your power and pushing away these negative thoughts with that nine of swords energy and this five of pentacles. Like you don't think anything's going to work out for you. The Six of Cups, you know, it's like maybe you're focused on the past so much how nothing ever worked out for you in the past. That's keeping you from, that's keeping you from this lover. Even if somebody in that attitude, if somebody were to come into your life, you would push them away because you wouldn't believe it was true. But you want a union in, in this reading anyways. I love when I say this and then somebody in the comments I don't want love. Well, why are you here? You definitely want a union. But something needs to change. Your thoughts, your limited belief about relationships from your past. Standing in your confidence and, you know, pushing forward here. You know, I've been getting this energy. I've been doing the readings today for the week, right? So I can get them up this week for you guys. And um, just collectively, everywhere I go, I kind of get a collective energy. I kind of listen to people and see where everybody's at too. And it just does seem like there's this shakeup. Even like my hairdresser yesterday was talking about the energies. And it just seems like maybe some people are getting in their emotions this week a little bit more than you know, with some of the transits that are happening and they're second guessing. So 
certain things. But you've got four of wands here. Somebody coming towards you that wants to either reunite or build a solid foundation. Somebody could actually be moving towards you. There could be some sort of reunion this week where you're meeting somebody too as well. But somebody wants to build a foundation. Somebody's ready to walk through that doorway and see what's up. Maybe a commitment. Ready to do the work. I've got the three of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. Somebody with the same shared goals. Could be somebody you work with. Somebody wants to work things out. I've got the seven of pentacles, all right? There's been some space or it's been taking a moment because this person is trying to figure out uh, maybe finances, maybe how to get around a certain problem. Maybe they've had other investments and they've had to figure out, you know, like I said, what to do, reevaluate their life. This person could be reevaluating their life right now, trying to figure out what they want for their future. All right, the temperance card. So they view you as a divine partner. They can see the two of you balancing each other out. A wise investment. But maybe, you know, it's just there needs to be something. If you guys already know each other, maybe there's just you guys, this the five of pentacles. Maybe they did you wrong or you feel like they did. But if we hold on to grudges, but you still want somebody back in your life. I mean, it's really hard to work with that energy. I've got the Ace of Pentacles. So I see this person wanting to start something with you. They want to invest in this connection. Page of Cups, their actions towards you this week. Page of Pen Page of Cups. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This is somebody who's thinking about giving something a go. They've reevaluated their life. They're trying to find balance in their life, and they may look at you as their one. But you may come across guarded because you're guarding yourself, you're protecting yourself. And you just maybe have given up hope with love. I could be just reading it like, you know, I've said it the same way, but this is just a different way to say it. You've got somebody worth your while here coming towards you. It could be Sag, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, strong Scorpio here energy as well. And I've got the three of Pentacles. So I see somebody with the same shared goal, somebody you can build a foundation with. All right, I got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here, and I got the Emperor card here too. So building a solid foundation for the future. Let's see what the Love Oracle says. If this is somebody you know. Maybe you felt like they did you wrong and you just don't want to, you just doubt that they've changed. Well, we see the death and rebirth. So there's been some sort of change. You make me want to be a better person. All right. I'm planning on reaching out to you. I'm so sorry. There was a third party. We had a lot of fights, arguments, and conflicts over that. Or this person we did. So maybe this person separated from that person. All right. So you never know. You did have the Six of Cups, which talks about possible reconciliation with this person. But maybe some of you feel left out in the cold, feel rejected. Um, it's about letting your guards down, but also standing and speaking in your truth as well, too. Let's see Aries through Pisces. Aries, I feel damaged, like I just can't do this. Taurus, I can't handle your words right now. Gemini, I wish I could take back the things I said. Cancer, I finally see I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. Leo, I should have been more honest with you about how I was feeling at the time. Virgo, I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to. Libra, I feel safer in the silence. Scorpio, I got spooked. Sagittarius, I know I screwed things up and honestly have no idea how to fix it. Capricorn, your intensity frightens and allures me at the same time. Aquarius, my heart is telling me just do it. And Pisces, if I knew... What I know now, I would have made different choices. And I also get, I don't know if I can meet your expectations. And that kind of like is this energy right here too. 
just feeling like, you know, nobody's giving to you what you want, what you need. You're not getting what you want, not getting what you need. Um, kind of feeling like unfulfilled and not satisfied. And that could be something else going on in your life. And people around you might feel like they just can't meet that expectation. And um, those are insecurities or deeper wounds that we've got to take a look at. And it's a mindset. So it's about shifting your mindset this week about the situation because it looks like you have a beautiful opportunity to come together or reconcile or come together with somebody who has a lot of love for you. So restore and balance here, the temperance card. Having some patience this week and uh, I don't know. I love you guys and I hope this helps you out. Take care.